Hello friend, welcome back to Diesel Mercedes YouTube channel. In this video I would like to show you that iCarsoft MB2 diagnostic tool which was designed specifically for Mercedes-Benz vehicles. This one is the latest upgraded version. It's already hooked to the OBD connector which is underneath the steering wheel down there and you can watch with me what are the functions on it so obviously if you want to use the generic OBD2 it will be right here and I will be pushing OK but we want to see that specific Mercedes-Benz function so I will use this button move it on the Benz and push OK now you can see on the first screen there are six possibilities so you can see all of them and we will go with the bands so again okay now it came with the version 1121 and it was updated by the seller great seller by the way to the v1141 so we will use the latest version I'm pushing okay And here you have 54 choices of different Mercedes Benz. We are sitting in the 2004 C240. All right. Now I know it's a 203 generation, it's a C class from, and it's not this one because mine was made, it's on the door sill. It's a 10 2003. So I'm using this and I'm pushing OK again. Here is it a wagon, so I'm using T model because it's a wagon and again OK. It's a gasoline OK. And it's a left hand PR in USA. OK. And here is exactly the list of 16 possible models. I know it's C240 wagon, but it's formatic, so I continue. And I go here, because I know it's 203281 C240 formatic wagon. OK. And you can see in the live how fast it's scanning and so on, and that's the purpose of this video. And now this is not an automatic or manual transmission. This is automatic or manually selecting the options which I want to scan. If I push automatic, the scanner will go through every possible option in this year and try to find it in this vehicle and then it will pick up the units or computers which are here. Make it on you easier, I will choose the manual, push OK. And look, it's a 1 of 29. So there is all these modules possibly in this vehicle. Now if I want to choose one of them, I want to show you first all of them. That's the last one. If I push again, I will be on the first one. So I want to go transmission, right? I want to see what are the options. I just push OK again. Control unique version. It can actually tell you what the computer is. In different video we saw where the computer is located, right? It's down there in the passenger feet behind that kick panel. So let's continue here. And I know that computer was having written on it. It was made by Siemens, which is correct. And I remember these last numbers were 232 and really it tells you here that it is the computer down there, what are the hardware, software and diagnosis in identification. So I just push OK. If I want to go in the data stream, I know there are no codes, but you can read the codes right here. No codes, OK. Therefore you can clear it, but it will say there's nothing to clear. And let's go on that 
Oh shoot, my bad. Let's go on that data stream because you want to definitely see what it will show you. You can see it's one of seven and it's all of them are on this page, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's start with the speeds and let's see what will be the data you will be getting. And you can see down there one, two, four out of nine. And if I use this button, I can go through all of them. And once again, that's the last one. So this goes back. If I step on the throttle, right, this is live data, everything changes. Okay, I will use the exit. Up shift, down shift. Let's see what you can do there. So it's a one of four and out of four. So these are all in this one. Target gear. Now it's in park. I will put it in the drive. Now you see the two. Because I'm in the comfort or winter setting, the vehicle starts from two. So this is correct. It's in the D as a drive, but it starts in the second gear. If I switch it to the S as a standard, which I just did, you see that? It switched, the vehicle will be starting in the first gear. So I go back in the comfort, jump back to the two. I will get out of here. Solenoid valves. Okay, these are one to two out of nine. So let's see, and you can see what you can get, which data you can get by this scanner tool. And this is all of them, right? I will escape. Emergency running. I don't know what it, what it is. Here are the switches. One of three of four. So you see, it's a winter. This car calls it as, as no, C as a comfort, but in general, in previous models, there was a W. Once again, if I switch it to the S as a standard, you see there is the difference and let's go to the last one right here okay I escape start operation closed and the gear is in the drive if I put it in the park it jumped in the park Exit and what's about a torque converter lockup clutch? So this is out of eight. So first three are again. See the difference? It threw through the neutral to the second gear because it was in drive. This is the last one. So yeah, that was what on 2004 C240, what you can achieve or control or which data you can observe using this iCarsoft MB2 scanner. I will escape escape and these are the other m modules which I will be able to choose but I don't want this video to be too long so I will wrap it up here stay tuned because I will make more videos at least one more or two more with this scanner and let's maybe in the next video let's go look which controls and data are 
available on the engine um, computer so thanks for watching and have a wonderful day